we have draw the Lewis structure for methylamine. Methylamine molecules have one amino group. Be certain to include any lone pairs. So they give us CH5N and it's called methylamine. And they want us to draw the Lewis structure for this. So this one is tricky because you have to know what they mean by an amine group, okay? And in this case, an amine group is typically, if I recall correctly, this is poorly drawn. Um, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this there. This would be the amine group, okay? Just like that because that is what would attach to the rest of it. All right, so nitrogen and two hydrogens. That is what they mean by an amine group, or amino group, sorry. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and try to approach this like your typical, um, I guess, Lewis structure, but just with this information now added. Okay, this will affect how we draw it. So carbon being on the 14th column has indeed four valence electrons, hydrogen, one each being on the first column, so that's five, so that's four plus five right now, and then the nitrogen is another five, so we're dealing with 14 electrons total. So let's go ahead and draw it out. So based on the information we were given, we have C and N. Those two are going to be in the middle. And then we have one, uh-oh, sorry, Ten technical difficulties again. I do believe it's time for me to change the battery, so that's what I will do after this lesson. Um, so hopefully now I can write. Yes, indeed. So we have H H H H H. There we go. Five H's. And then we have to review this. So right now, hydrogens are just sharing one of its one. Carbon right now is sharing four of its four electrons, but the nitrogen right now is sharing three of its five. So we have four and five, which is coincidentally what I drew here as the amino group. So with that being said, do we have 14 electrons, one lone pair and six bonds? That does add up to 14. Perfect. And now does this have the correct formal charges? Let's find out. We have, um, just to make sure, I'm trying to think, hydrogen, formal charges of zero will just look like that, one bond. Carbon's formal charge of zero is just four bonds. Nitrogen's formal charge of zero is one lone pair and three bonds. So funny enough, Everything here has a formal charge of zero. So this, because they also follow the octet rule based on the carbon and the nitrogen, would be the Lewis structure for methylamine. And we did include the lone pair, which is only on the nitrogen, okay? And as I said, the only reason I was able to draw this and not just something that's like, it would be a very stressful time to figure out how to put all the hydrogens and nitrogen on just a carbon, which is why it's good to recognize your groups. And funny enough, this ties into knowing your um, your naming. Your uh, I know there's a word for it. I blanked out. But just call it naming. This is why it's important to know your naming rules so that, that I pack naming rules. There we go. So that way, when they give you things like this, you can even recognize methyl or methane, which is known as just CH4. And if you have methyl and amine, or at least one methyl and one amino group, you just slide that nitrogen there, and you'd have still gotten the same answer because you knew what pieces you were working with. So that's why it's just important to get familiar with your naming and such, so these questions become easier to solve, okay? And there you have it. There's that lone pair. And that indeed is the amino group as I drew up there. So this is correct. 
So now we're going on to question number 25. <laughs>